3 is a new action-packed, sometimes violent video game aimed at teenagers over the age of 15. It'll be getting the red carpet treatment when it's launched in the UK later today. Yeah, it's the final instalment in Microsoft's Halo trilogy and it's in uh, such great demand that a thousand shops will open at midnight so fans can get their hands on it. But our attitudes towards violent video games starting to change in favour of more family-friendly gaming. Well, Rory Catherine jones has been finding out. We're all used to blockbuster movies getting the red carpet treatment, but now another industry is keen to make a big deal out of its latest production. <laughs> Halo 3 is the latest version of a game which has made Microsoft's Xbox console a big player in what is now a huge industry, and its creators certainly aren't underplaying its significance. Well, Halo 3 is going to be the biggest entertainment launch in history, so our expectations are you know, exceed anything for a video game, it's really going to be the biggest entertainment event of the year. Well, maybe, but while millions have already ordered Halo 3, which hits UK stores at midnight, the game has a 15 certificate. That means it's not aimed at everyone. Halo 3 is what's known in the games business as a first-person shooter. It's aimed at the typical gamer, the 15 to 25-year-old who gets completely immersed in combating the aliens with a range of weapons. And here's something completely different. Nintendo's Wii Sports has very simple graphics and is aimed at all the family. And it's been outselling most of the shoot 'em up games. Halo 3 will help the Xbox 360 in its battle with Sony's PlayStation 3. But will it win over families who've been buying the Nintendo? I don't think we're really into these shooting games and stuff like that, you know. So they're the gentle ones. We quite enjoy the shoot 'em up and get stuck in really. And it's it's not just shoot 'em up for the sake of it, it's got a bit of a story behind it. There's no doubt that Halo 3 will be a blockbuster. What it may not do is bring video games to a wider audience. Rory Catherine Jones, BBC News.